Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Cancer. Cancer, this is your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the 20th through the 26th of July, 2020. Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. I hope all of you are having a wonderful, blessed Cancer season. I hope it was powerful and empowering for you and blessed okay I, I really feel like uh, you guys I feel like there something has happened in in this season okay that has changed your way of seeing things or allowing for you to have a different perspective I feel like something has changed within you that has set you free that's allowing for you to be open-minded it's allowing for you to understand things in a different way and I hope I'm making sense here but that's coming through here from my guide very interesting cancer please let me know if that message is for you let me know what that means to you okay because I feel like this was life-changing Okay, uh, one of you has been struggling um, with with a certain way of uh, believing in something or doing something, and now you know something has been lifted. The veil has been lifted, and it, it's almost like it set you free. Okay, from whatever that limited belief or or, or, or what the way you were thinking. So very interesting. Wow. Okay. Please let me. Okay. Please let me know what that means to you guys. That's coming through from my guides. Now I'm using the Fairy Oracle along with the Tarot Illuminati for your weekly general messages. All right, Cancer. Let's see what energies we have for you this week. Thank you, Spirit. Woo. We have a wish wisely. All right. And I'll read this in just a moment. Let me get your cards shuffled and laid out and we will dive in thank you spirit all right cancer sun moon and rising what does cancer need to know this week spirit 20th through the 26th all right. thank you spirit messages you have for cancer. Thank you, Spirit. We are ready. Current situation. We've got the alchemist. All right. That's what I was just talking about. You know, it's that inner alchemy that some of you have been experiencing and it's been life-changing. Powerful. All right. In your foundation is judgment. What's benefiting you this week is the Prince of Wands. Crowning you, Queen of Pentacles. Nice. And your outcome energy. Wow. King of Wands. Whew. Powerful energies right here. Nice. Okay. Very nice. Let's start here, Cancer. Wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. This is so powerful and significant right here because Spirit is telling you right now how, how powerful you are. Your skills manifesting, especially with the alchemist being the current situation. All right? The alchemist represents you taking the first steps, okay, of taking those dreams, all right, those, the, the, those dreams that you've been fantasizing about, okay, maybe for years for some of you, but taking them and taking the first steps, giving birth to that dream and bringing it into your reality, okay, and, you know, they're saying, wish wisely, because what you manifest is what you're going to create okay and you're going to be taking the first steps in doing so you're understanding 
you know you know who you are you know you are a creator okay and you're taking the first steps here towards you know making that dream your reality okay you understand that you can not achieve it you can do it because you are a creator cancer you know you understand right here that the alchemist okay this is the energy of Gemini and Virgo coming through here as well you guys uh, you could have Gemini or Virgo in your charts but I feel this is you guys embodying this energy this is you being the magician alchemist of your life okay this is you understanding how psychic you are understanding that you have all the tools within you to create what it is that you want what you desire the reality that you want okay and this is you doing it taking action being the alchemist this is you speaking your intentions all right and making your mark you're gonna make your mark you're focused You know, for some of you, this definitely could be you uh, manifesting a career opportunity. Uh, I'm getting for one of you, you're manifesting, trying to, uh, you're, you're trying, to, you're in between trying to relocate, okay? You have a job offer in another town, maybe another state, and, you know, I feel like you've had a hard time trying to find a place to live because it's so far away, right? You're, you're having a hard time, and you're going to manifest okay that housing opportunity is uh, one of you that's what you're working on you are focused on it you are determined you have an opportunity here of a lifetime and you're you're not going to quit you're going to make sure you find a place to live some of you this is you taking the first steps of starting your own business okay This could mean many different things because there are so many of you watching. So, you know, what are you being the alchemist of? What are you creating in your life, Cancer? Okay. Leave me a comment, you guys. I read them all. Let me know. And remember, wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true it's up to you to make your dreams come true okay and this is just confirmation right here of your guides and, and your your ancestors your ascended masters letting you know uh it's up to you you've got to take the first steps they've got your back okay whatever it is that you are wanting to create it's already done in the spirit realm it's up to you to step into this energy and embody this energy of the alchemist and take those steps and this is what you're doing okay i see you doing this it's powerful some of you this is really going to allow for you to start an amazing new beginning especially with judgment coming in here in your foundation because this is what's moving you forward this is what's driving you okay this week this talks about you know you're ready to close a door in a chapter in your book of life right here you're ready to end a cycle. Uh, for some of you, it was a hard one, uh, you know, ending, okay, that you're fixing to shut the door on. But before you do, you're making sure that you review what you've been through and take all the knowledge that can be taken out of those challenges, those difficulties, what you've been through in this cycle, okay? And you're taking that knowledge because you know that knowledge is power. You know that that's going to keep you from repeating any cycles you don't want repeated, okay? And it also, you know, allows for you to, when you close this door and you end this chapter, okay, in your book of life, you're not going to be carrying any baggage with you into this new beginning. So that's, that's genius right there, okay? You know what you need to do and you're doing it. Uh, this, you know, judgment talks about second chances, rite of passage, all right? Now, you have the Prince of Wands coming up here in the position of what's benefiting you, and I love this. 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy right here, Cancer. This is you taking action, going after your heart's true desire right here with so much passion, okay? Taking action with passion. That's what I'm saying. Just make sure that you don't get so caught up, okay, with the excitement that you overlook anything, okay? Um, you don't want to look overlook anything and something pop up six months down the road that could just be a nuisance, all right? So make sure um, you're paying attention, okay, to what's going on, especially if you're dealing with a contract that's coming through from my guides. Make sure you read the fine print. You guys always know what you're signing up for, okay? I see it, you know, you're taking action, you're happy, you're going after what you want, what, uh, you know, what you truly desire, and you're not holding back, you're going after it, well, you realize this is doable, this is achievable, it's within reach, you know, I feel like some of you are like kicking yourselves and going, why didn't I do this a long time ago, okay, that's what I'm getting here, very interesting. Now you have the Queen of Pentacles coming up here in your crowning position, whether you're female or male, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is what you know, you guys. This is what you're thinking about. All right? This is a very grounded, nurturing, practical, down-to-earth energy. Okay? This talks about the material. This talks about what you're taking action on, what you're going after here. Uh, there, it's going to bring stability and security. It's going to allow for you to lay a solid, unshakable foundation, especially when we're talking about uh, your finances, okay? So this could be you moving up within a company, getting, a, you know, an opportunity, uh, you know, climbing the ladder to success, you know, maybe moving, okay? Um, relocating because you've got a higher up management. You're taking over maybe a district or something. Um, this is definitely that energy though of the entrepreneur, business, money, and it's all practical. It's all realistic. It's all within reach, okay? And that's what this, that's what this is, what you're going after. This is what it's going to bring in. And I, I feel like it, that is bringing in a sense of security for you, okay? And you deserve this. You deserve it. And most importantly, Cancer, this is something that not only are you going to be making pretty good money, okay? You're, I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is comfortable. She doesn't want for nothing. She's enjoying what, uh, you know, what she has, okay? Her, the fruits of her labor, you know? So not only are you making money, but it's something you have passion for, you enjoy, okay? I am seeing a business loan. For some of you, if you have um, money that's owed to you, okay, this could have to do with the court system as well. Waiting on a judgment, whatever that might be. I see it coming through, and I see you being very happy uh, with uh, what is going to be um, given to you, okay? And it's owed to you. It's due to you. So this could be a lawsuit. This could be um, workman's comp. This could be anything, okay? Now, this is really exciting, all right? You have the King of Wands as your outcome energy, whether you're male or female, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius right here. Cancer, you know, again, this is that entrepreneur energy. This is that powerful, bold energy, leadership energy. Uh, this is that energy of, you know, this right here amplified like a hundred times, okay? This is you stepping into your power, you know, owning your decisions, owning what you want, okay? And this is you making a commitment here of what it is that you're going after, what you're taking action on. You're not going to allow anything or anyone to get in your way of you achieving your goal. This is self-confidence, okay? This is power with passion right here. You know, you definitely could be starting your own business. This could be a business loan coming in here uh, that you've manifested, a new career that is just amazing. You get to show your creativity. Um, it, it's very, very successful energy, okay? Victory energy right here. 
You know, this is you being in control. This is, you know, this is you knowing what you want and not backing down, okay? This could be a position of authority, okay? This could be, uh, you guys, a teacher energy, a mentor energy. I feel like people admire you. They look up to you, Cancer, okay? They admire your pep, your, and when, what I mean by that is they admire that, uh, that drive that is within you that has, you know, re-inspired you to go after something that you, you truly want and, and, and you're going after it and you're taking action. You may be surprising people. Uh, for some of you, this is you stepping outside of your comfort zone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, I'm getting a, a message here. You know, this is something that, you know, you've always dreamed of or fantasized about and I think you really thought deep down that that's all it was, you know, or that's all it would ever be. And then here you are, okay, an, an opportunity has presented itself and you've taken action. And I feel like you have surprised yourself and other people are looking at you like, wow, look what cancer did. Can you believe that? Wow. You know, stepping into a new experience, a new role, as well as it's you know, requiring you to step outside of your comfort zone, and you're doing it. You're doing it, and you're rocking it. Woo! That is amazing. I'm oh, sorry, BJ. I oh, just jumped. <laughs> Mama's baby. Oh, they're taking naps. All right. Cancer. This is going to be a powerful, powerful time for you. It already has been, okay? Your season, uh, like I said, leave me a comment. I just feel it. Okay, there's something that has just been life-changing that has happened and experienced, okay? And it's all for the betterment of your situation. Wish wisely because what you think about and what you speak is what you're going to create. That's how powerful you are. You're going to take those steps. You're going to go after your pinnacle, okay? You're going to go after your wish, your dream, because you realize it's here. It's within reach. It's practical. It's realistic. Okay, and like I said, some of you are going to be kicking yourselves in the butt, wondering why you didn't do this sooner. And I'll tell you why, divine timing. <laughs> you already know that. All right, Cancer, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Cancer.